Day 2, Oracle Message Number 37, The Heart Transmission Your heart is capable not only of giving and receiving love, but of connecting you to a great network of beings that resonate in the highest frequencies of divine love. Through your heart, you can receive information and guidance from networks of light that fill our universe. As you learn to open your heart to receiving these transmissions, your ability to work with a group consciousness in a loving way increases. You shall affect humanity in a loving way, influencing the collective rather than allowing the lower frequencies of the collective to overwhelm you. Working with group energy is a leap on the spiritual path with risk, but also great reward in terms of empowerment to manifest your life mission. The risk with group energy is mitigated when you approach it from the heart rather than the head. The mind can argue one point of view and then immediately and convincingly argue its opposite. The heart, however, either feels something resonate or it doesn't whether or not there is a logical explanation for it. The mind can be seduced by those who tell you they have great spiritual power, but this will instantly trigger intuitive warning bells in your heart. For those with genuine power do not need to convince you of it. The heart is the key to deciding where you offer your devotion. When you offer devotion to the group consciousness that loves you unconditionally, your heart feels safe, loved, and an inner knowing of the rightness of that group for you. Whether that group exists on the earthly plane or in a spiritual dimension, for as long as it gives you life, broadens your horizons, nourishes your truths, and empowers you to live your destiny, that group is serving you. If you do not experience these positive effects, if you feel drained, confused, or that your issues are not resolving as you work with this group, listen carefully to your heart and question whether it is indeed the right place for you to be. It is important to also work with groups that you can serve. Although you may love your family, for example, they might not be the group you can best serve. Perhaps those who are open, willing and receptive to your spiritual gifts are outside your family. Perhaps your family can benefit spiritually from you in the role of mother, or son, or daughter, but not in the role of spiritual mentor. On the other hand, some groups may want to feed off you, but not learn to do for themselves. They may wish for you to give them answers to their problems. They may not be willing to develop the trust, courage, confidence, and empowerment that is required to take responsibility for their own relationship to the universe, which is needed so they can grow in soul wisdom through their life experiences. Your heart may guide you to withdraw your services from such people because you love them and want them to grow. Your heart will guide you to operate differently with different people. You may be guided to explore hobbies or interests that lead you to the next group that your presence can assist. The heart will also guide you when it is time to move on. The transmission of the heart gives a truthful assessment of the interaction of your frequency with the frequency of a group. Is it mutually raised? Then this is a spiritually constructive connection. Is it diminished? This will not be so helpful. The heart empowers you to know when to work with others, for how long and in what way. Trust it. The more you do, the more groups which can bring great benefit to you and to the planet can enter into your world. Today's invocation, I trust the voice in my heart. Day two, exercise. Humans are living things that were created to live in cohabitation for each other and grow together. 
No matter how much we try to live alone, we couldn't make it work as well as joining a team in a way to support each other, even in personal love, work, and living in a society. Therefore, choosing the group of people we want to be with in order to support each other is truly very important. It requires awareness to realize that our choice in living there is for the highest good of all. Many times, we choose to stay with someone just to prove our value, that we are good and we are important. And several times, we were there just because we are addicted to pain, which is when there is pain from the actions of others. We will feel that we still remain in a relationship with that person. If there is no pain, it makes us feel empty and we don't know where to go next. For numerous times, we insist on being in a group of people who can't take care of themselves, can't make things work by themselves. And that's why we have to be there to push them to make it work. Sometimes we choose to be there because we don't want to do anything for others unless it benefits us from our existence and receive good things that the people in that group have. The above motivations are not the motivations that truly lead to the best thing for everyone, including us. Because these motivations lack encouragement, which means it is good for some people. While it is bad for someone, and many people will remain at the same point and be non-existence. Having the awareness of us being with others will affect group energy, and our energy will affect our personal growth. Be exploring our motivation with honesty so that we can choose whether we will be there to serve or we will leave for the highest good of all. Today's exercise is to explore ourselves to the pattern that relates to the group of people that we choose to be with right now. Whether they are family, co-workers, those with whom we do some of the social activities together, or a group of friends. You will choose one group that you feel you spend the most of your time with or you feel that leaving from this group is very hard. Then answer these questions respectively. Don't skip back and forth. Use your feelings to answer the questions quickly as possible to avoid using your thoughts. And when you get the answers, write it down with honesty and please let go of the right or wrong good or bad when answering these questions. One, how do I feel right now when living with this group? Two, what am I doing with these people? Three, what feeling do I want to have in return from my role participations? Four, what feeling do I receive now? Five, what keep me here? Six, what need to happen to get me out? After answering all of the questions respectively, please check your answers that, which answers are thoughts, then answer again with your feelings. How relatable of all the answers. If there are conflicts in your own answers, be aware of yourself. When you are aware of yourself and acknowledge it, Please consider yourself why you are here with this group of people by choosing from these three options. One, addicted to suffering, uncomfortable feelings. And because of these, you trick yourself to continue being with them and it has to be this way only. Two, lack of clarity in self and clarity in the true values that everyone can rely on. Three, I stay here because of love, compassion and faith in them and yourself. 